Having a transparent navbar or menu looks really nice and it allows you to have your header background at the top of the page. At least for me, that was the look I was going for. However, after scrolling, I didn't want to see my blog content behind the header. To solve this issue, I implemented a solid header after I had scrolled to a certain view height. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to implement that header using React and Material UI. Let's get started. For this project, we're going to be using Material UI. So we're going to install Material UI Core as well as Material UI icons. We're going to import React app bar from Material UI as well as toolbar, typography, button, icon button, menu icon, and make styles from Material UI Core and icons. Once we have done that, we are going to create our button app bar component and we're going to return a div with the app bar and toolbar inside. We're going to have our icon button and we're going to first put our menu button there. On the header, you normally have a menu icon. We're going to import our button app bar component in our layout page. If we go to our blog, we'll see that we have the menu icon. However, the nav bar is a solid color. We want it to be transparent first and then when we scroll, it turns solid. We're going to add the word news. And we're going to add a login button. We are then going to add some styling using material UI classes and make styles. So we're going to have the menu button be the color black and we're going to have two classes, app bar transparent and app bar solid. So for now, we're just going to put app bar transparent on our app bar and we're going to give our menu icon the menu button. So if we look now on our website, our nav bar is transparent. However, it doesn't change on scroll. We're going to be using React Use State to control the state of our app bar color. So we're going to create a state of nav background. Then we're going to say const nav ref equal React Use Ref. And the nav ref dot current is equal to the nav background. And so the use ref just returns a mutable ref object and its current property is initialized to the past argument. And in this case, our initial state for nav background is the app bar transparent class. So when our page loads, the app bar will be transparent. We are going to use the use effect function from React to determine whether or not our background should be solid or transparent. So the first thing we are going to do is add an event listener called scroll, and we're going to call the function handle scroll. And we're going to remove the listener when our component unmounts. In our handle scroll function, we're going to determine whether show should be true or false if window.scrolly is greater than 310. If it is, then we're going to set our nav background to solid. Otherwise, we're going to set our nav background value to transparent. At the moment, we are hard coding the class app bar transparent. We're going to make it dynamic by using navref current. Navref current stores the current value of nav background. So whenever it is updated in our handle scroll function, we will get that and use that specific class. We also need to add use state and use effect in our imports. So this is how your app bar component should look now.
and that is it. If we now go to our browser and scroll, once we reach a certain view height, our navbar changes to a solid color. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.